Colossal Con East 2018, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Colossal Con East was an anime convention held from September 7th through 9th, 2018 at the Kalahari Resort in Mount Pocono, Pennsylvania. This is their second year. Did they improve? Let's find out. First thing, though, I do have a conflict of interest. I can't say what it is exactly, but don't worry. When we get to the criticism sections, you'll see I have more than enough criticism for the convention. For the good, convention staff were really on their game this year. Saw a lot of improvement here. A lot more staff, it seemed, this year. You could find them roaming at times. They definitely did great in the area of panels. People were checking in with the panels. I saw them turn around some rooms when uses changed very quickly. A lot of credit to them this year. Vast improvement here. The layout of the convention was vastly improved also. They ended up taking away one really large panel room, making half of it video games, converting some of that other space over to panel rooms, and it seemed to really, really work out for them this year. The layout was just more efficient, and it just worked better. Attendance definitely improved this year. I would say the amount of people actually doing stuff in the convention doubled compared to last year. I think the people that were concerned about a first-year convention showed up after hearing the convention was relatively decent last year. The flea market was definitely a tremendous success. To the point there was a line to get in. There was more than enough people trying to sell various odd items in there. I saw some interesting stuff. I know some friends got some deals. I picked up some manga relatively cheap. It's another nice concept this convention does well. The room keys for the hotel were an interesting and cool thing, and actually I'd like to see more hotels do this in general. It was a wristband, so you didn't have to carry around your wallet or a card that could get fried at all times. It makes a lot of sense when it works. We'll be talking about it, this again later. I now understand why people attend this convention just to go to the water park. The water park's a lot of fun. You have the hot tubs, the lazy river, or you can go on the water slides that can potentially be scary. My group got sufficiently scared on one of them. It was just one of those experiences. But the water park was fun. For the bad, what was absolutely disaster was the parking. The Calare has no grasp on parking. They didn't put enough in. You basically have to not move your car all convention weekend. I did to get closer to my hotel room and got lucky to even get a spot. It's just an absolute mess that really does hurt the convention. For the ugly, what should have been better? This is going to be split into two parts. The first part is for the convention itself. Hotel costs for the convention are just too expensive. It's too close to Otakon. It's basically $250 a night, which is equivalent to Otakon's hotel rate. It's just far too expensive if you're doing Otakon and Colossal East within a month of each other. Now, this next year, that will be slightly different, but this convention is very, very expensive hotel-wise. The guide app, while mostly okay, when you were trying to use it, the gesture seemed just a little bit off. It was too sensitive that you'd be swiping with it and you end up on the wrong page. It was a major issue, really limiting the usefulness of the app in some ways. For the ugly, and this is for the hotel convention center, cell phone coverage here is quite bad. For some reason, when you walk outside, you have a lot of strength, especially on the Verizon network. The moment you walk into the hotel convention center, a lot of strength on cell phones disappear. It's almost like they're jamming signals. Thankfully, the Wi-Fi network was open for at least the weekend for Colossal Con East because due to the low cell phone coverage, you almost had to use the Wi-Fi even with the inherent security risks of an open Wi-Fi network. Not too thrilled about doing that, but literally cell phone coverage was that bad and the Wi-Fi was not that strong. Food on site is one of the biggest problems with this convention center and therefore affects the convention itself. Most of the food places are overwhelmed, understaffed, and the quality isn't that great. The food court down by the arcade is probably the best place to eat. You know what you're getting. It's average food court food. The rest of these places, the quality service is just too unstable, and it really sucks. While the wristbands were cool, I did have two room key failures with them. My one friend just didn't work. We walked back down and waited in line a second time. The reprogram didn't work, so I solved the problem by cutting it off of him and taking it back down and making sure they had to give us another one. Really, a brand new room key slash wristband should not break immediately. Probably one of the least thought out things at this convention center is the distance to the convention facilities. Some of the rooms are incredibly far away from them, and it's a significant walking distance that you have to still take elevators and end up on the right floors to get there. And the distance is just way too long. It's only going to get longer because of the expansion going on to the convention center portion. Overall, the convention did show improvement. I had significantly less complaints about the convention this year. 
but content attendance was flat because it is a water park convention. I would estimate the amount of people attending panels is about equivalent to a convention with 1,500 to 3,000 people. And the proximity of the convention to Otakon does hurt the budget a lot. Now, next year, Otakon's going to be a little bit earlier, so it'll hurt a little bit less. But still, this convention is very expensive, particularly being so close to Otakon. I give the convention a C+. They're definitely moving in the right direction, and it was an improvement over last year. Where most of the weakness with this convention lies is the hotel convention center itself. I think there's a lot of problems people like to ignore. We'll see how many of these get fixed when the Hotel Convention Center expansion opens in two years. Until then, we'll just have to see where this convention goes. Thanks for watching.